everyone, Lee Hayward here, and I'm in doing a workout now at the Orleans Hotel Gym. Now, this is the day right after the Mr. Olympia competition. Uh, so myself and Trisha came down to watch the show, and like I say, make and do in the hotel gym. And I gotta be honest, this gym is not the best for getting a serious workout, but it's certainly better than nothing. So what we have here now is a dumbbell rack. Uh, they got dumbbells that go up to 70 pounds, so I mean, you get a pretty decent workout. And what I'm going to focus on is just doing like a total body circuit routine using dumbbells. And this is something that I get asked a lot by my uh, YouTube followers. A lot of people are interested in dumbbell workouts that you can do at home. You know, because many people train at home and all they have is a set of uh, dumbbells to use. Or if you're like us in a situation where you're at a hotel gym with very limited equipment. So that's what we're going to do now is just jump in and do a total body circuit routine using dumbbells. And we're going to hit all major muscle groups, probably just doing one or two exercises per body part and try to keep it going in a fast paced circuit. So uh, first move I'm going to jump right into now is a dumbbell shoulder press. Trish is jumping in doing a set. So we're gonna be just going set for set for all these exercises and resting just long enough for each other to complete their set. And that's a great way when you're training with a partner, just literally go set for set. It keeps the training pace fast and uh, get a bit of cardio conditioning in there as well. All right, great job. Moving on, we're going to do a set of uh, bench press. Actually, going to do an incline dumbbell bench. Moving on to the incline bench. So this one heavily works the upper chest and the front delts. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to start from top to bottom. Start with the shoulders and go chest, back, arms, abs and legs. Like I say, in a fast paced circuit. Alright, good stuff. Next, we're going to move on to a bent over dumbbell row. We're going to use two dumbbells at the same time. So it's almost like you would if you were going to do a barbell row. But obviously, we don't have any barbells, we're just using dumbbells. Notice here, Trish is bent over at a 45 degree angle, and this takes some of the strain off the lower back, and it really helps to get a good, good contraction in the lower lats. Cool thing about dumbbells too, you got more freedom in your hand positions. You're not in that fixed plane of motion like you are when holding onto a barbell. Yeah, good stuff.
keeping it going. Moving right into bicep curls. So again, just a quick recap. Started with the shoulders, then did incline, bench, bent over row, bicep curls. Basically just starting from the top and working our way down. Resting just long enough for each other to complete their set. Okay. Good stuff, Trish. Now we're going to do some work for the triceps. I'm going to do a overhead dumbbell extension. You just keep that going. Lay it up there in that rack. Sure. Now you've probably seen some people do this exercise two arms at a time, basically two hands holding onto the dumbbell. I just like doing the single arm variation better. I find it allows me to isolate each tricep better and I can get a greater range of motion and a better muscle contraction. So try both variations, yeah, but I prefer to do them one arm at a time. where we're keeping the workout pace fast here. Even though the weight is light, I'm getting a killer pump. So we're shooting for 15 rep sets. And I recommend going through this circuit at least three times. You know, your first time through, if you want, you can go a bit lighter. Just kind of do it as a warm-up circuit. And then for the other two circuits, push the weight a little heavier. All right, great job. frog kicks or V-ups, whatever you want to call them. But it's a great exercise that engages both the lower and the upper abs. So for this one, shoot for 25 reps a set. And after you complete the circuit, if you want, you can throw in some extra ab work. I mean, that's fine. The main thing with abs is that you're just working the muscle. It's not, it's not a muscle group that you're trying to build bigger. Basically, when you're just trying to work the muscle and then focus on uh, diet and cardio to lose the body fat. Right.
that's a complete total body circuit routine that you can do using just dumbbells. So you can do it at a home gym or a very basic hotel gym. Uh, just to kind of recap, with all these moves, we're shooting for about 15 to 25 reps per set, keeping the volume high and keeping the, the exercise pace fast. So I'll do a set and then Trish will jump into her set. And the only rest we get is while we're waiting for the other person to complete their set. So we really keep the pace going. Uh, do about three to four circuits of this. So your first circuit, just take light weight and kind of pace yourself, use it as a warm-up circuit. And then for the next two to three circuits, you go a little bit heavier and push yourself. And if you want, you can substitute other exercises here. I know like some people are going to say, well, what if I want to do a, you know, a one-arm dumbbell row? Or what if I want to do a flat bench instead of an incline bench? Or what if I want to do push-ups? You can customize this to fit your, fit your needs and fit what equipment you have available. But it's just to give you an idea of a total body circuit that you can do really quick, do it anywhere with very minimal equipment. So give it a try, leave me a comment below, let me know how you like it, and make sure to subscribe to my video channel so you can keep up to date with all my latest workout videos. Take care, over and out.